Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On the Paint Table. It's my weekly show about what I'm working on, what I got done, and what is coming up. So, I'm still in the infinity hole. I can't get out. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I finished another mm, 10 models for my Morats. I was like, I couldn't decide what new thing to do. So I just started looking at all my half finished projects and I was like, wow, I've got like, I don't know, eight models I didn't finish for my Morats when I painted the first batch of them. I'll just finish these real quick. And then I was like, oh, I got some new Morats in a box. I should paint those. And then I got a blister with a new Kornak in it. I already have a Kornak painted, but I'll paint the new one too. And it just escalated. It just kept going. <laughs> so, and I even, I played one game with Owen. And the problem is when Owen and I start talking about Infinity, it's all we talk about. And he hasn't played Infinity in a while, so he also got excited about Infinity. And then I started playing an Infinity event. And then, yeah, mistakes were made. So I uh, dug out more half-finished Infinity projects. I can't decide on a new army, but I have a bunch of ideas. I'm gonna finish my backlog. That's my plan. By the end of January, no, by the end of January, by the end of November, I'm gonna finish my Infinity backlog. That's that's what I'm gonna get done. I'm gonna finish the last couple more ads. Just have a bunch of options. I'm gonna finish up the last Corregidor stuff that I built in Prime before the new stuff comes in December. And I'm going to finish my OSSS, my Aleph, because I, I built and primed and like even like base coded them, and then I just didn't finish them. So <laughs> I'm going to get that stuff done. And in November, I know it sounds like a lot. It's like mm, 11 plus 9, 10, 11, 12 models, 22 models. 22 models, it sounds like a lot. It's not actually a lot. I have games to chase at the end of the month. I'm going to finish the OSSS for that. I have games with Jordan this weekend. I'm going to play my Morats for that. I want to do new armies all the time for you guys. And you guys ask me what my favorite game is. It's just, it's Infinity. Like, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts. If I could play anything all day, I love the fact that it's like a snack size building an army. I could paint 12 models and have a brand new army I haven't played with yet. And feel excited and, and like, jazzed about it. So, yeah. I'm going to keep working on my Corregidor. I'm going to finish my Morats to, like, the point where, like, I'm just waiting for the new stuff to come out. I can roll it in. And I'm working my OSSS. And, and then... Hopefully it's out of my system. <laughs> I have like an endless, endless amount of things I want to do for Infinity though. I'm going to get this stuff done. I'll have new armies finished for ITS-14. Morats, Corregidor, OSSS. I can always be playing new armies in the format. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it there for a minute and, and, and play through and, and calm down. I mean, <laughs> I got to get this out of my system for January so I can start working on new things. Uh, so there it is. Yeah, that's what got done. Let's take a look at the, the painting that got finished. I use some very cool um, Mind Taker Minis, uh, formerly Imperial Hobbies paints. You've probably seen it before, but I actually pulled out my process for that. Uh, and yeah, and see what's coming up. So here's what I got painted this week. I finished off all of the like last gen stuff I had uh, like assembled and primed and like base coated. So I finished my Razgat Specialist, my Kurgat Boarding Shotgun, even though I know there's a new one in the action pack. And my last just like more at Vanguard with a, um, a combi rifle. I painted the two new Yao Gats, the sniper rifle and the Spitfire, and then painted another sniper rifle because the Yao Gat sniper rifle is oppressive. <laughs> I'm not gonna take two of them. Um, yeah, it's gonna be real good. I painted my Surya with a multi rifle because I hadn't finished it, and a single uh, Data Razi, although I do have more I could paint um, just to have like a smoke option in my army. And then I painted New Kornak. I didn't love him when I saw it, just like the picture online. But having actually painted him now, I actually I actually quite like him. His pose is cool. He's got a big tuning fork. I get that he's like looking in the air and stuff, but he's big and impressive and definitely looks like he is uh, as, as, as good as he is with extra order plus one Stratego's level one. Then because it didn't seem right that I used the same set deck and Bashi Bazook for all my armies, I found this guy in my bits box and was like, this is the best idea for a set deck ever. If you've only been playing Infinity for a short while, you probably don't even know what this is. This is an extra. It was a whole race of dudes that were in the combined army that just got like, like cut out. They were bug people um, that had no unconscious state. Because if you wounded them, their guts just spilled out because they were bugs, because they're skeletons on the outside. They're so cool. This is a, a vector operator. Um, he's basically just like a, a, a stand-in for my set deck, and he's perfect because the whole campaign for ITS-14 takes place in space. So having a vector operator as my set deck where he could like meta chemistry, like super jump and stuff, real easy to do. I just used um, the same uh, sort of like basic idea where I prime them dark gray, but instead of dry brushing them with a gray like I did for these guys, I dry brushed them with a uh, dark green. 
successive lighter greens and then went in and did like all the yellowy bits on the inside and then some like colored metallics also from um mind taker minis uh for the uh the like the sort of like weapony bits and stuff so i want them to stand out and be different now the bashi bazook uh, there are more extra models out there but they're really hard to find uh i want to get a different extra probably another vector upper, maybe the sword one i thought about the winged one there is like a um What's he called? Esca Iskander, which I could get, but I don't. He's like my least favorite of the extra. So I think I'm just gonna get the other one with the sword, like one of the other extras, and uh, like one of the other vector operators, and try and have him be my Bashi Bazook. Maybe the sword one, the one like crouching with the sword. I gotta try and find him though. They're not easy to find. They're not current Infinity Miniatures. They've been gone for like 10 years. Um, I, I could just stand him in as the Bashi Bazook too if I wanted to. He could just be in fly mode or something like that if I want. But I thought it was cool. Do something different. I gotta find a different style turret as well. I wanna convert another turret for these guys. Um, just so like my combine stuff obviously stands out differently from my not combine stuff. Minis left on the roster. I, the K1 combi rifle Morat, I just didn't like, I, I didn't build him into a list yet, so I just didn't paint him. <laughs> and then I do have a, a more contemporary boarding shotgun um, Suriat, but like, I didn't see like the specialist ones where it's at. You, you take the one with the, uh, the the what should we call it the um the special option so you can i mean they have deployments on parachutist so yeah pushing buttons or standing next to consoles i i do think there's a room for this guy but i just haven't painted him yet so last two minis except for trying to find another its specialist i'm, I'm gonna do the um extra as my loss of lieutenant paint some extras uh competition thing so i need to find a model to to be my my, my bashi bazook or three I can have Hall Echoes too, I guess I can also do that uh, to try and finish that off. Then I got a little bit left for my Corregidor, I did like break down and buy the box set, and then um, I split the uh, Baggage Bot box with Jordan. He grabbed one, which was nice of him, so I have uh, two Wildcats and an Intruder HM or Intruder Multi-Rifle, it'll be my Shock Marksman, my Hacker to paint, a Agua Seal Hacker, and then the old... And I, I didn't think they were going to do two minis, I thought they were just going to do a blister, but they did, so... I guess I'm ahead painting my crazy koalas, but I got an old Moran Maasai with a, um, it's the, it's supposed to be like a multi-rifle, but it's going to be a combi rifle to paint up. And then I, I forgot I had these. I got these from the, um, ITS event that I came second in. I was able to pick up the size two, uh, just like silhouette marker and my Corregidor pin too. So that's going to get finished up. New army to play chase with. It's my OSSS. Uh, so I've got my HVT, my Naga hacker to paint up. My fire team of Dakinis, so it's an HMG sniper rifle paramedic, and then I've got a Diva hacker um, and a Diva Spitfire uh, team rocket over there to paint up to go with it. Naga hacker, um, and then some remotes. I have to build one more. So I have the seven point flash bot, pro bot, um, and the uh, Evo hacker, and then the TR bot, and I need to finally uh, build my 16 point. Oh, what's he called? The 16-point um, uh, Swiss Army bot as well. I'm going to paint the Swiss Army bot for this army and also use that in the games because I'm finding the Swiss Army bots very cool. Right, so the thing, I got a bunch of like characters I want to paint up too. I just dug out all my mercenaries because I was like, maybe I'll do an N2A army. Maybe I'll do a weird army. And then I was like, no, don't start an army yet. Just just finish what you have, Ash. Also see the GMG review for these today. I got my hands on some of the new plastic ogre frames and you can watch me put one together and go over the new frames as well as an unboxing of Kadia stands and a review of the new codex. So you got a lot of stuff on the docket today, a bunch of book reviews. I'll link them up here in the cards, um, as well as unboxings and a review for the Ogres and the Cadia Stands miniatures, the new Cadia miniatures. Um, yeah, and some Xenos Rampant. So cool things to check out for a Saturday. Uh, next week, I mean, <laughs> I just can't bring myself to paint anything else. I'm going to keep plugging away at this because it's. I'm going to get to play Infinity this weekend and then I get to play Infinity the week after next. So I'm going to get the stuff done for then and then maybe I'll have broken the spell this has on me. I need to play some, the problem is when I play games, I just want to paint more. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this, if I get out from, from under this, but I'm really loving painting infinity stuff right now. It's so fun and different. And it's always like, it's different colors for every army, right? They're bright, they're fun, they pop, and I'm super enjoying it. So hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you for what gets done next week. Till I'm Ash, I'll bring it in. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. 
I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.